So how do we divide functions? Well, at the beginning, this is going to be we're just going to rewrite them, and we're not going to do too much with them. Um, later in different sections in your Algebra 2 life, you will end up doing a lot more with them. So for now, let's just look at rewriting them and maybe simplifying them just a little bit. So this would mean that I'm going to take f of x, and I'm going to divide it by g of x. So in fact, I'm basically just making a, a fraction. And then again, let me color code this so that's a little bit easier. So I'm going to divide by, and a fraction line does mean divide, and I'm going to put my g of x down there. So I'm going to put my fraction line up there. My f of x, my f of x is this 6 x squared plus 3x, and my g of x is the 3x. And then I ask myself, does this thing simplify? Well, I might have to factor a little bit to get this into a more simple form. And I don't think I have room over there, so let me just bring it down to the next line. So I look at the 6x squared, and I look at the 3x, and I'm going to see if I have a common factor, so I can basically use my distributive property to take out a common factor. And in fact, 3x goes into both. So if I take and divide that by 3x, and I can divide this by 3x, I end up with a 3x on the outside. And 6x squared divided by 3x would leave a 2x here. And then 3x divided by 3x would be a 1. Now you can multiply that back together to make sure I did that right. 3x squared times 2x, or 3x times 2x, would give me my 6x squared that I started with. And a 3x times a 1 would give me my 3x. And then I'm going to rewrite my 3x that I had on my denominator. And then you should see at this point that the 3x's, they would cancel, or when you divide 3 by 3, you get 1. And you divide x by x, you get 1. And so anything, 1 multiplied by anything is basically just 1. And our final answer would be a 2x plus 1. So that would be a, a basic case of dividing my um, functions here and then simplifying them. So if you get to a more complex case, and um, looking at this one, again, this would be my f of x divided by my g of x. And then I would want to fill in what my f of x is, which is 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then I would want to fill in what my g of x is, which is just my x minus 4. And then I look at the top and I say to myself, does this factor at all? And at this point, we're just going to leave it. That would be your final answer in this function right here. And that's all the further we're going to take it at this point.